Hello all, welcome to part 27 of API testing training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to create workspaces and collections in Postman tool. So let's get started. So we already have started using Postman, right? So in the second part itself, second part of this training, uh, training series itself, we have downloaded, installed, registered, and logged into the Postman tool, okay? So till now, if you have not downloaded or installed or registered or logged into the Postman tool, I recommend you to watch the second part of this video. After that, here I covered whether the Postman is a free or paid tool, okay? So after that, now we are going to completely explore the Postman tool feature by feature. So first we'll see what are these workspaces and uh, what are these collections, okay? So let's get started. So first let's launch the Postman tool guys, which is already installed in our machine. So let me launch Postman tool. Just type uh, Postman there and click select that. Postman will launch in a while. Let's wait for the Postman tool, tool to launch. As you can see here, the Postman tool has been launched, okay? Now, first let's, before starting using this Postman tool, okay, make sure that you don't have anything here, okay, before you start using Postman tool and uh, uh, running any uh, API uh, requests and all, okay, so what you have to do is first you have to create a workspace, guys, okay, you just click on this workspaces menu here, okay, just click on the workspaces menu, so there are uh, no workspaces, you see, no workspaces found. You just need to create a workspace first. What is workspace actually? The place you work, okay? The name actually speaks like workspace. The space where you work is nothing but the workspace. That means under the workspace, we create the projects, right? So under the workspace, we create the projects. So first step is to start working with this Postman tool. The first step is we have to create a workspace. Just select that create workspace. First select this one and then select create workspace. You will be taken here. You just have to give a name for this workspace, guys. Okay, so I'll say uh, demo workspace. Okay, demo workspace. This is the demo only, right? De demo workspace. Okay. So here, uh, you can you, uh, summary is optional, guys. Whether you want to give it or not, it's up to you. Like, what is the reason behind creating this workspace? You can explain here. Okay, uh, workspace created for demo uh, purpose of APIs. Okay. Done, like that I gave, okay? You can give your own, uh, according to your project, right? Why you are creating a workspace, you can give a summary here. For this particular project, we are creating, the pro uh, these projects will be under part of the workspace or whatever you want to write as a summary, you can write it here. And here, visibility, okay? There's one more section known as visibility. Under visibility, there are three options, personal, team, and public. So the recommended one is team, guys, okay? As you can see here, we are creating the workspace. Workspace, under workspace, we'll be creating projects, guys. In this case, projects are nothing but collections, okay? Projects are nothing but collections, guys. In the Postman, projects are nothing but the collections. So the space where you work will contain a group of collections, okay? The place where you're going to work will have a group of projects, okay? That is group of collections. In this case. So I'll show you how to create collections later. First, let's focus on how to create a workspace. You're already on the way, okay? We are just giving this visibility options now. So let me... We are just creating the workspace. We got a three options like private workspace. As as the name speaks private, if you select private while creating this workspace, if you select private mean, apart from you, no one can see your workspace, okay? Only you are the one who will see, see the workspace. If I say public means everyone, okay? Not just your team members. Outside the project also, everyone can see. There is a security problem, right? So if everyone can see, that is a security problem, right? So but most of the companies uh, will make their projects, you know, right? Uh, According to the agreements made with the client, the pro project code or anything related to the project should not be visible to anyone. Apart from the team, only the team members should know uh, should be able to work on the project. Okay, outside the team, no one should know. That will become a leak if if uh, someone knows the APIs which should not be known by of a project which should not be known by others, and if public can view that APIs and can access, then you are in a trouble. Okay, personal means only you are the one. In this laptop only you can access. But what if you want your team to access, team members to access, okay? In a project, let's say there are five to six people, only that six people need to access. 
not more than six people should not access then we have to go with the team option okay this is the recommended guys okay this is the recommended guys personal team okay team then public three options are there so we'll go with the team guys which is the real time in real time guys when you are working on the projects we generally select team okay just for learning purpose you can either select private team and public whatever you want but uh, in real time where you are working on a project uh, together with other people yeah, other people are also working on api testing and all in that case you can go with the team option guys okay this is a real time option and uh, we have to create the workspace with this option okay in real time the real time projects this is a dummy project you can select anything but uh, i recommend you to follow this team option from now onwards so that uh, if you get a project tomorrow or whenever you get an opportunity to work on projects in api uh, along with the api testing right in the using postman tool you just select the team okay so better to select the team which is a recommended option for real time just click on create workspace so here till now there was no workspace now you see demo workspace got created here okay there's a demo workspace demo workspace created for demo purpose of apis who created the workspace? I created the workspace. Arun Motori, my name. Okay, as a trainer, I have created the workspace here. Fine. So, workspace is a place where you are going to work. Under this workspace, you are going to create a, a group of collections. Okay, a group of collections means projects. You can assume that uh, this is a place where you can store the, create the projects. Collections are nothing but the another name for projects, guys. Okay. So, let's not create many projects. Let's create only one project. Select this collections option, guys. Uh, once the demo, demo workspace is there here. Okay, here demo workspace is selected. Then select collections option. Okay, just select collections option and click on this flex icon. It'll create a new collection. Click on this. You see, new collection is getting created. Okay, so here it's asking you to give the name of the new collection, guys. Okay, so you can give the name of the new collection here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a collection of APIs for this. Okay, I'm going to take a request dot in as a project. There are, there are a list of APIs uh, you already know as part of this request.in. We were using this request.in from the previous sessions also. So there are uh, a list of API, APIs that we can test, okay, from, that are provided here as a documentation for our testing purpose. So what I will do here is, uh, here in this request, if you if you see, guys, it's all about users, list user, single user, single user not found, a list of resources, okay, create user, update user, delete user, okay, register a user, login, login as a user okay like it's all about users right so here we will give a prop appropriate name either you can give request uh, collection or you can give users api okay users api or uh, okay request users api request anything any name you can give guys okay just uh, click somewhere you see the collection name got changed to users api under this collection there are no requests okay there are no apis that you are going to test okay and there is there is one this is one collection, guys. Okay, under this collection, you can create a, a set of uh, APIs that you're testing. Okay, as, as uh, now this users API is nothing but a project, guys. Okay, users API is a project created under which uh, workspace? Demo workspace. Okay, fine. Now, so create collections. Collection uh, workspace is a group of collections, group of projects, and uh, collection is a group of APIs. Okay. Every collection, every project will have a, a set of APIs that you are testing as part of the project. Now, how? Now we created the collection using the plus symbol. We renamed to users API or whatever it is. Uh, request uh, dot request dot in APIs. Uh, uh, we are going to uh, uh, make them part of this collection or project, whatever you can call now. Okay. Now let's add request under the collection from request site and save them. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is uh, already I created the collection here is nothing but a project in our uh, other world other uh, real world kind of thing okay you can also call that as a project but in technically you have to so call it as a collection as part of the uh, postman tool okay but uh, we can also we can understand as part of the project this is a project this is the cpa is one of the project or one of the collections okay now just select these three dots guys uh, which is besides this collection name just click on these three dots and uh, there is a either you can create a folder or directly create a request guys okay uh, so let's say add folder first let's create the folder folder will further group the things okay under this collection there may be a lot of apis thousands of apis so if you put all the thousands of apis under a single collection what will happen it will be confusing rather uh, postman tool is giving you an option to create a folder okay what i will do is uh, i'll just edit them edit them and uh, here is a folder name i have to give get requests okay 
get requests. I'm just giving some random name, okay, just to categorize them. Just uh, select there, get requests. Under get requests, I'll go to the request uh, dot in. And here, the first one is a get request, right? List users. I'll open this here. I'll copy this API. Go to the postman tool. Under the folder, uh, you see it's not compulsory to create a folder guys directly under the collection also you can create the APIs. But uh, if, if you want a proper organization, you need folders. Let's say we created a folder beside the folder. There are three dots uh, here. Add request option is there, right? Add, add, add request, you can directly add request here also under the collection itself. Uh, or you can create folder, set of folders. Okay, group of folders you can create and then add them accordingly. Okay, add request, I will say. Either here or here, you just say add request. A new request has been formed here. Okay, new request has been formed here. Just uh, paste the URL. Okay, whatever the URL I just opened here, right? This list users I clicked here, right? This particular URL I provided here. This is the get one only, get request only. And uh, what else is there? Uh, I think this is enough. You just click on the save button, guys. Okay, just click on the save button. If you want to give a name, you can give a name here. So this is a list users, right? You can give a name here if you want. Here also you can edit, or here also you can edit. Uh, this is a list users, okay? List users. Okay. Now that's it. This will change the list users. Okay. Let's see whether this API is working or not. Click on send. The moment I click on send, uh, get method and this uh, request URL, we got 200. Okay, we got this uh, response in 945 milliseconds. The size also, we, this much size of uh, response we got, which is nothing but uh, you see, uh, this is a page two because page two is there means page two. From the page two, six records came. Six records of data users came. Six users details came like ID, email, first name. This is a JSON format. As you can see, this response came in the JSON format. Okay, so we already saved this uh, request. Okay. We already uh, here we clicked on the save. So under this folder, this list users got saved. Similarly, there are other requests also. You see single user, okay? Only one user will come here, okay? User, uh, you, you just have to give the number of the user here, okay? ID of the user or whatever it is, ID of the user according to the given ID, that particular request uh, response will come. So if you want to add this request also, uh, let, let me open this uh, single user thing in a new tab, okay? New tab, and then I'll go here and copy this. And uh, again, I'll simply say three dots and say add request. And then uh, this is single user, right? Single user, single user like this, I'll say. And I'll give the request URL, get method only. As you can see here, this is a get method. So where is that? This, uh, okay. This is a get method only. So these are all get methods, single user. Okay, uh, API request already gave. After, after giving this, better to save, guys, so that if it is saved, if you don't save, if you close the postman, uh, these details will be gone, okay? Let's click on save. After saving, you see, uh, these two requests are part of the folder now. Click on send. You will, you will get 200, okay, and 66 milliseconds it took. Just because uh, just one user details uh, having the ID 2 will come, okay? You can save the response also if you want, okay? Here there are options, okay? We'll, we'll discuss more about them later. <clears throat> Similarly, we have post-related ones, okay? So what I will do is I'll create one more folder, add folder. Uh, I'll just uh, rename that as a post request. I'm just categorizing guys, okay? So for each and every request, uh, API request that is there here, uh, you can uh, you can create these folders and create the uh, API request, okay? Add request. And uh, here I'll take the first post one that is uh, create, create user I'll take, okay? Create user, I'll open this new tab. Where it open guys, create user. I think this users is the one. Okay, this is the one, first one. Copy this. And uh, this is a post one. Method is post method. I give the URL. And what, what I have to post along with this, uh, I just need to post uh, uh, this JSON. Okay, JSON in the requ uh, request body. As an input, I have to pass the, okay. Go to the body and select draw and select JSON and paste it here, okay. So create user. I'm going to create this user, guys, okay. So let me uh, give a name for this uh, create user, create user name for this post request. Save this. After saving this, now it got saved here. Click on send button and see whether the, uh, you see name job with this ID 67 and uh, this got created at this time, timestamp, okay? 201 created uh, HTTP status code has come. 456 milliseconds and uh, this much of size, okay? So now, similarly, guys, uh, you can create a collection. Guys. This is a collection, guys, okay? This is a project. Users API is a collection or project you can call. Under this, uh, we are creating folders so that we can segregate or categorize the API request properly according to the methods and all. 
in real time you can uh, categorize this api request based on the functionality or whatever it is okay login related api requests okay search related api request register account related like that also you can categorize guys here i just took a method based okay method based way of uh, creating the folders and uh, adding the api requests and saving under them but in real time as part of the projects you generally create the folders for the uh, functionalities of the application for each and every functionality you will create a folder under that you will put for example login functionality all, all the uh, list of apis uh, which may be get or post or whatever it is related to login will be there under the login like that okay so this this is up to your creativity okay so in the the way that we need in our projects like how we are creating the folders in the project and creating the api request under them this is what is okay thing okay so we created the collections guys we created the collections and uh, uh grouping request under the collections using folders we have done now tomorrow once you create this uh, collection completely and uh, with the uh, uh, folders for categorizing the api request and uh, okay list of uh, apis that we have to test as part of this uh, project or collection after that you know tomorrow if you want to share this collection okay uh, share this uh, collection with your team or something how to share that okay how to share this collection to the team member this is, here is a process guys go to the collection what is the collection here the collection is uh, users api is a collection here okay under this uh, demo workspace we have the users api as a collection click on this three dots now here we got the share option click on the share option guys then here last option we have to say okay uh, via json link okay just click on the via json link get json link okay fetching public link okay so just copy this option copy to clipboard uh just go here and uh i'll open this in cognito mode or whatever it is uh just press enter you see this is the collection guys okay this is the collection you got okay this is a collection you want to share this link right uh, if uh, someone want to import that just click on the import uh, and uh link is there just give the link there okay just give the link of that uh, collection there and click on the continue option okay you can share it via json link and uh, if someone want to add it to their uh, postman they can select import and then okay continue let's see what will happen users api collection import a collection users api already i already have this users api so you, you want to replace it saying i'll say replace uh, in your case if this uh, uh, let's say I'm, I'm sharing this users api with you and uh, uh, you didn't create this collection so far so in that case the same link uh, just click on import and then click on this uh, link and then give the url that i shared with you json link uh, that i generated from here I shared with you if if you don't have this collection or project in your case in your postman tool then it will be automatically imported okay click on continue and just click on import guys automatically it will be imported okay since it is already there it's asking me to replace okay i don't i just uh, simply say cancel here but uh, you know the process of importing right sharing and importing okay the collection from one member to another member and also all in the team so with this guys uh, i showed you in postman tool how to create a workspace and collection how to maintain uh, how to create workspace and how to create a collection and how to uh, maintain collection how to how to add requests uh, to the collection how to add folders to the collection okay how to share this collection with the other other members in the team and how to make them import uh, this collection into their postman tools okay if they don't have this collection in their projects okay so all these things i i explained okay so there is a lot of much a lot, lot of much things to explore rather than just creating the workspace uh we just started with the postman tool guys okay so how to create workspace and collection are the ones i covered in this session so there are a lot of things that uh, that we have to explore in postman tool which will come in the upcoming sessions okay so hope guys you understood how to create workspace and collections in postman tool as part of this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to explain another topic on api testing till then see you bye bye